Hey everyone, it's great to have you back on SFDC Ninja and today I am back with one more Apex Trigger interview scenario. This scenario was asked to candidate with 1.2 years of experience. So guys, without wasting any more time, let's start with the scenario. But before that, let's first understand the data model for today's scenario. So today we are going to use two objects, account and opportunity. On account object, we have a currency field called max closed opportunity amount. So this is the data model for today's scenario. Now let's understand that what exactly we are going to do today. So in today's scenario, we have to keep track of the maximum closed opportunity amount associated with an account record. Basically, whenever opportunity gets inserted, updated or deleted, then the maximum closed opportunity amount field on account record should get updated to reflect the highest opportunity amount among the related closed opportunities. And we need to do it without using aggregated query. So this is the scenario. It's time to code. So let's go to VS Code. Let's create our handler class. Let's name it opportunity handler let's create our method word let's say trg method now guys see we need to fetch maximum opportunity amount after insertion deletion or updation of an opportunity record therefore opportunity is the starting point of our code so let's pass list of opportunity as a parameter in our method list let's say OPP list and in this parameter we will pass trigger.new from a trigger so this list is equal to trigger.new apply a null check on this list like this and iterate over it guys whenever there is a scenario in which we need to update parent by child then in that scenario we always need to fetch the id of parent to make our work easy similarly in today's scenario we need to update parent which is account by child which is opportunity so our first task is to store parent account id so let's create a set to store it let's say cc ids now see in update operation there could be a scenario in which user changes parent account of an opportunity in that scenario, we need to update maximum amount field on both new parent account and also on old parent account. For that, we'll be needing ID of both parent account. And to get ID of old parent, we will use trigger.oldmap. So let's take another parameter here. Opportunity, let's say PP map. And in this parameter, we will pass trigger.oldmap from our trigger. Now let's apply a null check on this map. if opp map not equals to null and create an instance of opportunity using this map like this let's say old opportunity dot get here we are using get method to retrieve the old version of opportunity record that matches the id of new version of same record which is being passed as parameter here in this get method so this variable contains the old version of opportunity which is being updated now let's apply a check on account id of new and old version like this if old opp dot account id not equals to new opp dot account id and if this condition will get true then we will add both new and old account IDs in this set. So copy its name, paste it here, dot add old opp dot account ID, dot add new opp dot account ID. Guys, this if condition will run when user update the parent account of an opportunity record. But we also need to store account ID whenever user updates the field value for that we will use else here copy this line and paste it here now this part of code will be executed only on update operation because from our trigger we will pass values in this map only on update operation and for other operations like insert delete or undelete we will keep it null so for other operations we will use one more else here and we will again store parent account IDs in this set. So copy this line and paste it here. 
Now guys, we want that our rest of the code will be executed only if this set contains a value. So let's apply a null check on it. Copy its name. Now in next step, we will fetch all related closed opportunities for the account whose ID is present in this set, like this. List opportunity, let's say related ops select ID account ID from opportunity where account ID is in this set and we want only close the opportunity so let's apply another check is closed equals to true so we have all related opportunities and their amount now we need to find the maximum amount among these opportunity record for that we will use the approach in which we will store the account id and amount of opportunity record in a map then we will compare the amount of these opportunities and if we will get the amount surpassing the current value in the map then we will store the greater one let's see how let's iterate over this list for opportunity opp copy this list name paste it here also let's create a map to store account id and amount here map id in key we will store account id and in value we will store the amount opp max amount map now we will store amount present in value of this map in a variable by passing opportunity account id in get method like this let's create a variable let's say max amount copy this map name paste it here dot get opp dot account id guys at the beginning of the code execution before any opportunities are processed the value of this variable will be null because the code attempts to retrieve the maximum amount for a specific account from this map but since no opportunities have been processed yet there will not be any entry in this map so initially this variable will be null until the code encounters opportunity and updates the map with the maximum amount so we will apply a check that if this max amount is null and this current opportunity amount is greater than the amount present in map like this if max amount is null or opp dot amount is greater than max amount then this opportunity amount will get stored in this map so copy the map name paste it here dot put in key we will store the account id and in value we will store the amount now at first the amount in map is null so this condition will get true and the amount get stored after that for second opportunity record it will again check the amount if amount is greater then new amount will get stored otherwise nothing will happen so after the last opportunity record we will have the maximum amount among all related opportunities of the account whose id is present in this set i mean account id on which opportunity record is being updated now we just need to update the account field by the value present in this map so let's iterate over the set for id let's say account id paste the set name let's fetch the value of this map in a variable so let's create a variable decimal max amount basically in this map in key we have stored account id and in value we have stored the opportunity amount so to get the amount we will pass account id in get method like this and after that simply put this in account field acc dot id copy this paste it here dot copy this 
field name, paste it here and pass this variable. We will not perform DML inside for loop. So let's create a list. List account, let's say ACC to update. Copy this list name, paste it here, and add account in it. Apply a null check on this list. And finally, update it. Save it and deploy it to Orb. Okay, we are getting error. Okay, got it. Let's cut this here and paste it here. Deploy it again. Now it is successfully deployed. So we have our handler class ready. Now let's create our trigger. Let's name it OPPTRG. Our trigger will be an opportunity object because our trigger will be executed whenever user changes the amount of opportunity record. And we have to use after event because we are updating parent by child. I mean, we need to update the account field after the opportunity record gets saved to database. So let's write opportunity here with after insert. after update, after delete and undelete. Firstly, we will write code for update operation. For that, let's apply a check like this. If trigger dot is after and trigger dot is update. Now, whatever we will write inside this if condition will be executed only on update operation. Here, we will call our handler class method its name paste it here dot method name and let's pass values in parameter trigger dot new in first parameter and trigger dot old map in second after that for delete operation else if trigger dot is after and trigger dot is delete copy this line paste it here but for delete operation we will pass trigger dot old in first parameter because our record cannot have new version after its deletion and we will keep second parameter null so let's pass trigger dot old in first parameter and null in second at last for insert and then delete operation else if trigger dot is after insert or undelete copy this line paste it here and we will pass trigger.new save it and deploy it to work we have our code ready it's time to see it in action so let's go to our org let's go to this account and let's insert an opportunity click on new just opp1 First, let's insert an open opportunity. Amount, let's say 100. Click on save. Nothing happened in this field. Now let's try to insert a close opportunity. Click on new. Amount will be 200. Test of PP2, click on save. Go to details. See, this field has been updated, which means our trigger is working fine for insert operation. Now let's update this opportunity. Let's increase the amount to 1000 and let's close it. Click on save. So the amount is 1000, which is greater than the amount of this opportunity. That's why 1000 should be present in that field. Let's check it. Go to details. Yeah, it is showing correct value. Now let's try to update the amount of this opportunity. Let's make it 2000. Click on save. 
Again, it is showing correct value. So our trigger is working fine for update operation. Now let's test for the scenario where the user updates the parent account. So let's change the parent account of this opportunity. Click on edit. Let's change it to test account 2. Refresh this page. Go to details. Yeah, it is showing correct value which is 1000, which is the amount of this opportunity. Let's go to that test account 2. Go to details. And it is showing 2000, which is the amount of opportunity present on this account. Let's add more opportunity records. So our trigger is working fine for insert and update operation. Now let's check for delete and undelete. Let's delete this opportunity. Refresh this page. It is showing 4000, which is the highest amount. Let's go to recycle bin. And let's restore this opportunity. Refresh this page. Now that field should have 5000 in it. Yeah, it is showing correct value. So our trigger is working fine for every operation. But guys, there is also one more scenario left, which is when we delete all closed opportunities on an account. So as of now, if we delete every opportunity, let's delete every opportunity go to details so as you can see that in this field last opportunity amount is coming but we want to show zero if no closed opportunity record is present on this account for that here in our code what we will do we will make the value of this variable zero if it is null and it will be null when no opportunity record is present on an account so let's make it null. No, not null. Otherwise, it will be zero. Save it and deploy it to work. Let's add an opportunity record. Now let's delete it. Go to details. Refresh it. Yeah, now it is showing correct value, which is zero because no opportunity record is present on this account. So that's it for today, guys, and I'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios. Thank you and keep watching.